Welcome to Champs Corner, coming to you live. I hope all is having a blessed and wonderful day. In football, champions start in the trenches. Defense and offense. The line dominates and dictates the game. So these 49ers have the best of both worlds. They have basically the best defensive line, the best front seven, and possibly the best offensive line in the game. Possibly. Well, I just say this. I know we have the best offensive linemen in the game. But I'm going to start off as defense. And as you see here, Nick the Bear Bosa. Straight destruction. There's not one man alone other than maybe our offensive lineman, Trent Williams. But there's not one offensive lineman in the league that can stop Nick Bosa. Star right there. And then you have Fred Warner. I made this statement. It's a strong the statement. The apex Fred predator. Warner's the best middle linebacker in the league. Fred Warner is the best linebacker in the league. That's the second tier of our defense. We have Trent, we have Bosa on the line, and then you have Fred Warner behind them. Backing up everything. So you go from Bosa to the apex predator in Fred Warner. That's a second tier. That, that's on all levels. And think about what Fred wanted. You have Alzir and then you have Greenlaw. We have the best linebacker crew in the, Oh, man. The best linebacker corp in the league. San Fran's defense is on all levels. You're going to catch it on all levels. The starters... And then the backups. We have people that can back up our starters in a big way. Look at that. Look at that. That's supposed to be a touchdown. The average linebacker couldn't make this play. Look at the speed and the power. When he gets there, it's over. The third tier, Jimmy Wall. You got three levels of the defense, corners and safeties, the linebackers, and then you have the line. Bolsa, Fred Warner, and Jimmy Ward own these. They the captains of these. They the mans you walk to. Jimmy Ward starting on IR in in, 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 uh, the start of the season, but he will be back. But we have people that's in there, like Huff. We got people that's in there, Emmanuel. We got people that's in there, that's standing up for Ward until he get back. We will dominate. This season is starting off the best way possible. Health. Health. That's all the Niners need is health. Jimmy Ward will be back real soon. Three to four weeks he'll be back. And he's going to be back better than ever. And the thing about, look at that. Think about what it is. 
when you got that type of talent, I mean, whew, Juice, unsung hero. Juice is one of those cats that you don't even think about until he make a key block or he make a key catch. Thing about it is, you talk about skill. Juice is one of the biggest parts of our offense, to be honest. Because when you can't check Debo, and you can't check Kittles, and you can't check Jennings, and you can't check Ayuk, and you can't check <laughs> Gray, and you can't check Billy Ray. You can't check them all. You can't. Juice is just, he's one of them cats that when you can't check everybody, he's going to be wide open. He's going to get you five to six to 10 to 15 yards. That's the skill set of Juice. But then you got Kittles. Straight skill and brute force. Boom. Get off me. Get off me, youngin. Get off me, little man. Kittles is one of them type dudes that he sets the tone. He sets the tone. And I mean, with his strength, with his, with his style of play, He's the best blocker in the league, and he catches with the best of them. To me, he's the best tight end in the league. I might be biased, but I don't think Kelsey catches better than Kittle's block. You get what I'm saying? I don't think Kelsey catches better than Kittle's blocks. And I don't think Kelsey blocks better than Kittle's catches. You get what I'm saying? I know you get what I'm saying. Kittles, you got to think about this. Our running game is going to be so vicious with Kittles. Look at that catch. Look at that catch. Look at that catch. All these players I'm talking about is on the top 100 NFL players. The top 100. The 49ers have the most on that list. And then look at here. You have Debo running across the defenses, taking chains all day long for three hours. If you double him, how you going to double Kittles? And if you double both of them, how you going to how you going to double Brandon? How you going to double uh Jennings? How you going to double Billy Ray? You can't double everybody. Look at him. He hurting them. It's, it's like body blows. It's like he giving you body blows. Debo give you body blows. When he when he throw the when when he catches the ball, people really like people really don't try to tackle him. They just try to get him down. Speed and power, skill, at every position. Speed, power, and skill. Running away. So he can run you over or run or run away from you. It doesn't even matter. He might do both on the same damn play. And this is a wide receiver we talking about that we can use at running back at any time. You don't know where he gonna line up. Just got a new spanking contract. So he ready. Cause now he got to show who he is before he gets to the next contract. 
So you know he about to show his ass. It just don't make sense. And then like I said, from line to line, you win championships. From the defense to the offense. So I'm going to end it off right here with the best, basically might be the best player in the league, position for position. Nobody's moving. Look at this. Nobody's moving that dude. With anger, with intensity, with skill, the best offensive lineman in the league. That's how you win championships. Your defensive line, your defense dominates and your offense mauls. At every position, the defense dominates and your offensive mauls. Pressure. Pressure. You got you. We giving you pressure on defense, and we giving you pressure on offense. I'm just showing you right now. Lance has every every opportunity to lead us to a championship. Champs Corner.